Cisco just dropped a 28 billion. Yes, with a B. 28 billion bombshell on us with their Splunk acquisition. This is the kind of deal that makes even Wall Street do a double take. Deal of the year? Ha! Huh. More like a deal of the century. And you know what's even wilder? Cisco isn't done shopping. And who's next on their cybersecurity spree? This move isn't just about the numbers, you know? It's about Cisco's vision to evolve its software business. And for those who ever questioned Cisco's roles in cybersecurity, well, think again. They're not just playing with switches, routers, and wireless devices. Oh no, Cisco's got a whole arsenal. From next generation firewalls to VPNs, IAM, XDR, NDR, email, DNS security, and even cloud security. They're like the superheroes of network protection. But here's the real game changer. Cisco is trapping on chat paths and zooming into the next generation of AI-enabled security. It's like they're playing cybersecurity chess, while the rest of you cybersecurity companies are still stuck on checkers. And now, they're poised to dominate the SOC or Security Operations Center business. I mean, who would have thought? It's because Splunk is a Security Information and Event Management, or CM. And for those who are not familiar with CM, it's like the go-to tool for SOX worldwide. It collects and gathers data from various sources, such as servers, application, network devices, etc. They then use this data to detect and respond to security incidents and threats. Think about Splunk as the rock star with VIP pass to any SOC party worldwide. Always there to save the day. Okay, so Cisco is basically tossing around 28 billion US dollars. Like it's monopoly money. And uh, that breaks down to roughly 157 US dollars per Splunk share. I mean... That's not just commitment. That's a full-blown dedication ceremony to becoming the pound-for-pound pound king of cybersecurity. So, will Cisco really rule the cybersecurity world? Or will they? Let's take a stroll down memory lane and look at some of Cisco's past cybersecurity acquisitions. Cisco acquired Network Translation Inc. in 1995 and brought with it a proprietary operating system known as Finesse, short for Fast Internet Server Executive. This operating system was instrumental in the development of the Private Internet Exchange, or PIX. PIX was introduced as a firewall solution that would later become a cornerstone in Cisco's cybersecurity offerings. Later, the PIX firewall, rebranded as Cisco ASA or Cisco Adaptive Security Appliance, with enhanced OS integrating Cisco's routing technology. It was highly regarded, you know, in its time, providing robust security measures, though it wasn't deemed the absolute best, but it certainly held its own. Fast forward to 2004, Cisco adds Perfigo Inc. to its roster. And these folks were all about beefing up Network Admission Control, or NAC, with their Clean Machines solution. Yeah, that's the name, Clean Machines. Cool name, huh? They tried to marry this with Cisco's existing NAC programming, giving birth to Cisco Clean Access NAC, or CANAC. But... Uh oh the outcome was uh, so bad. It turned out to be a bit of a bug fest. Now, let's talk about the big one. Cisco brought Sourcefire into the family in 2013. The brains behind Intrusion Prevention System or IPS technology and the founder of Sourcefire, 
developed the legendary open source IDS. This is called Snort. This is even way before SourceFire. Now, Cisco renamed SourceFire's technology to Cisco Firepower. But let's be real. The first go around trying to mesh it with Cisco ASA as an IPS hardware module wasn't exactly like a Vince Carter's slam dunk. Fast forward to 2016 and BAM! The new Firepower models hit the scene. This gave birth to the unified Cisco ASA and Firepower operating system, known as Firepower Threat Defense or FTD. This was a game changer for Cisco cybersecurity game, or was it? If you want to dive deeper, just check out this video. Cisco's been on a roll, scooping over 200 organizations, and they're not showing any signs of slowing down. And among the security gems they snacks in recent decades are Threat Grid, a malware analysis solution. It's cloud-based, now integrated with Cisco AMP and Cisco Firepower. Both technologies came from the source fire acquisitions. Next, OpenDNS. This is rebranded as Cisco Umbrella. It's a cloud-based DNS security solution. Next is Landcope. This is rebranded as Cisco Stealth Watch, then rebranded it again just recently as Cisco Secure Network Analytics. It's a network analytics or NDR solution. Next, we also have Duo Security, and then we also have Thousand Eyes, and many more. All right, time to spill the tea. What's your two cents on Cisco's past security shopping sprees? Were they totally game changer or just meh? And let's talk about their tech blending skills. Is Cisco nailing it or are they more like a chef trying to make a weird fusion dish? Drop your hilarious thoughts down below. Here comes the million dollar question. What's the future hold for Splunk? in Cisco's Cyber Squad. Are we in for a smooth, seamless fusion? Or are we about to witness another tech soap opera? Or a tech royal rumble match? Let's get ready for the show. Because this topic got the whole cybersecurity tech world talking. And there you have it, folks. That's a wrap for today's not-so-average tech news flash. If you're vibing with the information, give that like button a little love tap. Hit subscribe and make that notification bell sings like it's auditioning for a talent show. Let's keep this tech party going here at Sticks Show.